2022. Kahit medyo alanganin pa rin tayo sa pupuntahan nitong COVID-19 pandemic, maraming umaasang ngayong taon. Magsisimula na talagang bumalik sa normal ang maraming aspeto ng ating buhay. At syempre, kasama na dyan ang ating pagraray. Marami na ngang lugar at mga probinsya ang mas maluwag na ang requirements. Kaya mas marami na tayong pwedeng puntahan kumpara nung nakaraang dalawang taon. Pero kahit ano pang luwag dyan, kung wala kang motor, edi wala ka rin mararay. At kung nag-iisip kang bumili ng motor ngayong 2022, malamang ang tanong mo. Ano ba yung pwedeng abangan natin sa iba't ibang motorcycle brands? Ang maganda, kahit pa apektado rin naman ng pandemya, tuloy-tuloy lang yung mga paborito nating brands na di lang sa paglalabas ng mga bagong motor. Yung iba tuloy din ng pagpapalawak ng branches at service centers. Kabilang na dyan ng CF Moto na talagang naging successful nitong nagdaang taon. Ilang bagong motor din ang inilabas nila at marami pa raw sorpresa ngayong 2022. We plan on expanding more. Yan ang maganda kasi kay CF. Since they invest heavily on R&D, on research and development, mahilig sila, as in, nag-check sila ng different markets. So, ang ginagawa niyan, yung marketing team nila, it's a, it's a dynamic, it's a very young team. Magaling sila mag-adapt and very competitive din. Nagpa-plan kami. Ang maganda kasi sa kanila, ang bilis nila mag-develop ng new models. And naroon mga kailangan abangan kasi may mga padating pa. Marami pa kaming padating na new models. Hindi rin papahuli ang MV Agusta na kasama ng CF Moto sa iisang showroom sa Kaloocan. Pareho kasi silang hawak ng motorcycle distributor na Motostrada. Kung entry at mid-level bikes ang specialty ni CF Moto, premium market naman ang target ng Italian marquee brand na MV Agusta. At hindi daw lang sila limitado sa Pilipinas. For MV Agusta Philippines, we want to be able to make a really strong presence in Southeast Asia. Because, just because the Philippines is such a unique market na even the brand principal, they're very happy with what we're doing, yung marketing initiatives, and even the yung mga riders, yung community, it's growing. Especially since in the past couple of years, they really focused on revamping, restructuring yung company, how how it is in terms of like yung sa support, all of the events. In the past couple of years, MV Agusta has been doing really well. And in terms of like stability and being able to produce and support all the riders around the world, it's doing really good. Isa rin sa mga brand na tumatak nitong nagdaang taon ang Triumph Motorcycles. Kapag active ka sa social media, tiyak, nakita mo ang mga shoot, small events at iba pang content ng Triumph. Pero hindi lang sila puro picture o video. Dahil last year din nila inilabas ang best-selling na Triumph Trident. This year, plano raw nilang i-introduce yung mga model na mas pang motocross naman. At syempre, mas madami pang mga pakulo para sa riding community. Yes, importante sa amin na alagaan yung community. Importante continuous yung growth. Importante hindi sila nag-aaway-aaway. <laughs> importante hindi sila nagkakasilosan. I want everyone to be together. I want everyone to get along. We try to support as many groups as we can. Alam ko ngayon, napakahirap pa mag-organize sa malalaking group rides. And hindi namin basta-basta pwedeng gawin yun. But, We look forward to better times na magagawa na. Tuloy naman sa pagpapalago ang isa sa pinakamalaking motorcycle company sa mundo, ang Yamaha. Dito sa Pilipinas, hindi bababa sa limang bagong scooter ang inilabas nila noong 2021. Ito raw kasi ang hanap ngayon ng mga bagong rider na bigla raw dumami nitong nagkapandemya. Additional right now, especially is the 155, um, especially the the NMAX right now, the those motorcycles we try to produce is locally, and especially um, everybody really wanted to upgrade into 155 displacement right now. So that's something as well that we that we we've seen a long time ago, and we wanted to to step in when it comes to that kind of motorcycle. But the 125 will still have a great demand when it comes to um, the riding community. 
at bukod sa mga 2022 versions ng kanilang leading scooter models, may plano rin silang ilabas this year yung mga special edition ng kanilang mga big bike. A great R-series edition of the WGP 68th year. So that's something to look forward as well. And it really shows that company is really thinking a lot of things so that we can keep the riding community, especially here in the Philippines. Bago naman nagtapos ang 2021, may dalawa pang brands ng motorsiklo ang humabol pa at nagpakilala sa market. Una dyan ang Lycan Motorcycles na nasa research and development phase pa lang pero planong maging unang Filipino-made motorcycle company sa mundo at hindi ordinaryong motorsiklo yung gusto nilang maiproduce. Kundi isang high-tech, AI-powered at voice-activated na motor na may kapartner pang smart app at smart helmet. We are wrapping up phase one uh, of our R&D and then we'll be entering phase two which is about more on testing, testing stress test material, testing does the technology work. So we are expecting the next six months to be our phase two. But along the way, during the third, uh, second quarter of 2022, is our target to begin at least production, production of our motorcycles. And then by third quarter or fourth quarter, give or take plus one quarter, more or less, is when we will be distributing our motorcycles, putting it out to the market. Dahil nga patuloy ang paglaki ng riding community dito sa Pilipinas, pumasok na rin sa bansa ang British motorcycle brand na Mutt Motorcycles. Sa ngayon, small displacement bikes muna ang kanilang inilabas. Pero maangas pa rin ang datingan ng Mutt Motorcycles. Ang founders kasi nito, may mahigit isang dekada na ang experience sa paggawa ng mga custom bikes. Kaya ang models ng Mutt, mukha ng customize kahit wala pang ipinapagawa. Pag sinabi mong classic and custom mm -hmm. dun sa mga off-the-shelf na motorsiklo, ano yung pagkakaiba nun? Normally kasi pagka gusto mong custom bike mo, you buy a base bike, gastas ka probably 80, 100,000, depende sa gusto mong brand, no? Tapos dadali mo sa customization shop, um, probably take another 50 to 100,000, Ando na yung gusto mong uh, flavor mo, no? But uh, with Mutt Motorcycles, no? uh, what we offer in the market, you get the base bike already, pero custom. At hindi lang mga motor galing Birmingham, England, ang dala nila, pati mga lifestyle apparel at items. Gaya nung sombrero, <laughs> trucker cap na suit ko. Yeah. So, are you going to focus on the lifestyle aspect naman? Yeah, idadagdag din natin oh. yan. No? Uh, we have a, a wide range of lifestyle hmm. items. From the keychains to your wallets, shirts, hoodies, jackets. I see jackets. bags, I see uh, caps, I see... So, marami. Yeah, marami. No? Oh. Siyempre, is, uh, gusto ng mga nagmomotor yung... Forma. Kaya nga, oh, dapat oh, bagay. Oh, oh. Oh. So, dadalhin din natin yung okay. lifestyle of mud motorcycles here. No? Siyempre, if you look good, syempre, you also ride good. At ngayong taon, mag-expect na raw tayo ng mga bagong model mula sa mud motorcycles na papasok na sa ating bansa. Alam mo, very exciting nga eh. Dito sa Pilipinas, you can correct me if I'm wrong, no? Wala pa yata tayong parang custom-looking bike right off the showroom, eh. So, this is a new player eh, in the game, eh. Um, but sa custom building mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas, which is lumalaki at malaki na, mm -hmm. um, this is something na very exciting to have. Imagine, this type of motorcycle, no? Pag may bubuli, tapos may nagpa-build pa. Imagine how it will look like, di ba? Okay, okay. Kunyari lang, having a cafe racer kit on it, no? Mm -hmm. Medyo mas i-scrambler-ish mo pa siya na, mm -hmm. na set up, no? So, marami, marami talaga ng ano, pwedeng gawin sa motor na to. And lastly, bigger displacement? May plano ba? O wag ayaw mo sabihin? Pwede natin... I'll, I'll leave it there, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Ilan pa lang yan sa mga brands na maraming iniahandang sorpresa para sa ating mga rider. Kaya kahit hindi pa tayo tuluyang back to normal, exciting at marami tayong dapat abangan sa mundo ng motorsiklo ngayong 2022.